I have to say, probably one of the coolest parts about being a GCM presenter is you get some rare opportunities like this one. We're staying at the Wall Center in Vancouver and they offered to let us come up on the rooftop and watch the sunrise with coffee before we get out and explore the entire city on our bikes today. And I don't know about you guys, but I can't think of a better way to start my day. Today, we're in Vancouver, British Columbia, which is on the west coast of Canada, for a beautiful day of riding. And joining me is Steph Corker. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Steph is a uh, triathlete, also a local area rider, and a cookie connoisseur, from what I hear. I have made some cookies, a lot <laughs> but, of cookies. And a pretty accomplished triathlete. Something, I, I just want to go through the maybe 25 um, Ironman, participations, uh, there's like a couple wins in there that are prestigious. It's true. Okay, well, <laughs> Steph, we're here at the convention center in the, in the harbor of Vancouver. It's a beautiful area, absolutely breathtaking. We're sitting here having coffee before we head out on this ride and we're looking at mountains, parks, people enjoying themselves and the sun is just coming up, the day is getting going. So what are we gonna do today? Yeah, Dawn Patrol, riding with the sun. So we're leaving downtown Vancouver. We're going to head over the Lionsgate Bridge um, through Stanley Park, which is sort of your entrance and exit for every ride out of the city. Okay. And today we're going to hit Cypress Mountain and hit the Sea to Sky Highway en route to Whistler. So what what is what are we looking at here? We're going to go over the bridge, Lionsgate. We're going to go through Stanley. We're going to go up Cypress. And then there's two other climbs that are part of the Triple Crown that we're not going to hit because we want to do a nice ride. We don't want to do a drag out, knock out. But tell me about the other two climbs that are in the area. Yeah, so the second mountain is Grouse Mountain. It's a little bit shorter with a quick, like, steep pitch at the end. Um, I wouldn't say there's a ton of cyclists that go up Grouse. You really only hit that mountain if you're doing the Triple Crown. Okay. But Seymour is the next mountain, which is a gorgeous climb. It's about 14 kilometers long. Um, there's two races that take place here, the Cypress Challenge and the Seymour Challenge. So. Often people will be training on these mountains. As a triathlete or a roadie, it's awesome to have mountains like right out your doorstep. And um, you know, you can head up Cyprus and back. It's a two to three hour ride from your home, downtown Vancouver, and it's awesome. Cool. All right, well, I can't wait to check it out and take in some of what Vancouver has to offer. Let's roll. All right. Vancouver, British Columbia is the third largest city in Canada after Toronto and Montreal. The city's style is really easy going and conducive for riding your bike, with bike paths everywhere and not a single highway inside the city. It has a beautiful mountainous terrain with the Pacific Ocean almost always in sight, no matter where you are. And in the winter months, skiing is just a short drive away at the local mountains that tower over Vancouver, making it a truly unique place for people who love the outdoors. Steph, we're here on the bike path. We've come through Stanley Park. We're making our way to the Lionsgate Bridge. Lionsgate Bridge. This is already really pretty with the big cedar trees and the pine trees kind of towering over. And this is like, like I said, this is where all of the cyclists will come in and out of. This is the main way to get in and out of the city and head out to the mountains. Am I right? Absolutely. Well, yeah. This is a great resource and um, definitely, I can tell, well utilized. Absolutely. Steph, this has been great so far. We're on Marine Drive and 29th, but we're making our way to Horseshoe Bay. Whoa! <laughs> and then what are we gonna, what's going on down there? Yeah, so Horseshoe Bay, the rip to Horseshoe Bay is awesome for local cyclists. It's a great place. I mean, typically not as many cars as the highway, some rollers, gorgeous views. And on the other end of Horseshoe Bay, we're gonna dip down to White Cliff Park. Popular route for area cyclists. It's a nice place Absolutely. to ride. Good views. I can't wait to check it out. Steph, Marine Drive is beautiful. It's 
all these houses on the water, that smell of the sea salt, and gosh, there's not a ton of cars. It's just really, really pretty. Like, giving me the good vibes being out here. It's pretty hard to beat. It's an awesome place to ride. You're away from the highway and God, gorgeous. Gosh, looking, looking out into the city over on this side. I get it now. I Now I get it. Secret's out. Yeah. It's a beautiful climb through this marina. And then there's all these little islands here. Yeah. It's super cool, because far in the distance, you can see the Gulf Islands. Okay. And Vancouver Island, but much closer, right here is Eagle Island. There's about 20 homes. People live there full time year round. Yep. So that was Marine Drive, very pretty. Again, just that sea salt, all that in the air. Really enjoyed that. We're here now in? Horseshoe Bay. Okay, and where are we headed? Well, we're headed down to White Cliff Park. It's a quick little extension from Horseshoe Bay, but the views are gorgeous and it's totally worth it. What's notable is Horseshoe Bay is the ferry terminal that takes you to local islands, some are close, some are a little bit further away. It's a special place. Here we've hit the base of the climb, Cyprus. We went through the park and all that area down on the water, Marine Drive. Tell me, what are we doing? Well, we dipped down to White Cliff Park for a few beautiful views and jumped on the Sea to Sky to head up Cyprus. Now, instead of heading on the Sea to Sky north to Whistler, we're on this local mountain. And it's an awesome climb, 45 minutes from downtown. You were telling me that a lot of people in the wintertime, the city doesn't get any snow, but this area does. This is where the snow line is. And so this mountain will obviously get quite a bit of snow, which is convenient if you're a cyclist and you like to ski as well. But this isn't a year round climb. Yeah, not so much. It's a little chilly at the top. There's definitely snow up there. Great place for Nordic skiing or downhill skiing. So, okay, so we're gonna get to a really pretty lookout here. First lookout. Well, right from where we started, Vancouver Convention Center, it's across the way. Wow. Lionsgate Bridge, Stanley Park. Uh, yeah. It's really, I mean, you've landed a bluebird perfect day. You can uh, see it all. It is really just breathtaking up here. What? So I remember when we looked at it from this way, this was the mountain that was the furthest to our left. And so then now, still, this is gonna be the Gross Mountain and then- Seymour Mountain. Seymour Mountain is right over there. So that's the, that's the triple crown. It's a triple crown. Man, but we're only on part one <laughs> of three parts. We still got like eight kilometers to go to get to the top of this. We're about a third of the way up. Okay. Yeah. Man, all right, well, this is, this is beautiful. And what are we looking at it's just straight across? Yeah, that's the University of British Columbia. It's its own little pocket here. I, you It'd know, be fun to go to university on the beach. On the beach. Barrett's View, Dave Barrett, premier of British Columbia from 1972 to 1975. Well, throughout the 1960s, the future of Cypress Bowl was hotly debated in 1964, but a member of the Legislative Assembly, which is the MLA, by the name of Dave Barrett, pressed the Minister of Forest to honor a commitment to preserve the forest lands in Cyprus. Well, Cypress Bowl. What followed was an eight-year effort by MLA Barrett to save Cypress Bowl from chainsaws and residential development. Elected British Columbia's premier in 1972, his dream was finally realized when his government established Cypress Park as a Class A provincial park in 1975. This is Bear 
Bear Corner? Bear Corner, <laughs> the notorious spot where the bears just prance out of one side of the woods, cross the street, jump into the other side. Got it, yeah. So a couple bear settings here. We have bears in Massachusetts. It's, uh, they're probably different than the ones you have here, I think. We have little black bears. They come in, they shred the bird feeder, oh. the dog chases them off, and then, yeah, and, and then we look back at them and get pictures and stuff, because, yeah, not that we mess with them, but it's pretty cool and unique to see a bear at certain times of the year in Massachusetts. Yeah. But you guys have also brown bears. Grizzlies. That's what I mean. I know. I don't think there's grizzlies here, though. I think closer to Whistler. Okay. I think we're on black bear territory. That's still pretty close. Not far. That's like close enough where you're like, I don't think I want to see a brown bear. I don't want to carry bear spray in my jersey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, if I saw a brown bear, I think I would need to carry something else. All right, Steph. So we're at the top of Cypress Mountain Road, but we are at the bottom of the Cypress Mountain Ski Resort. I think it's a, a privilege to have a mountain out your front door. I completely agree. And um, it's safe, the cars are kind, so I think it's, it's incorrect to not be up here as a cyclist. Yeah, honestly, there it's a beautiful day. I haven't, we truly have not seen many cars. I mean, considering that that is your third largest city in the Canada. country. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't help but believe how nice it is. So uh, I, uh, I'm excited because we're gonna go down and get a coffee. Let's do it. All right, let's hit it. This is the lookout, Stanley Park. We're here. We just come over the Lionsgate Bridge off of Cypress Mountain, and we're on our way into the city to grab a coffee. Oh man, but this Stanley Park is huge. Like, oh, it, I was reading it's over a thousand acres, which is big. It's massive. Yeah, and there's trails and yeah. It's like your guys' Central Park. It is super our Central Park, <laughs> and it's awesome for riding. It's <clears throat> Central Park Sorry. is way better. Way easy. Canada's awesome. I'm joking. We can rip Actually, on this. I did read too in the Wikipedia that this was ranked as one of the best parks in, in the, the world. world. So Central Park can go kick rocks. Kick rocks. <laughs> it's home to beaches. It's home to our aquarium. Uh, it's home to a green space where lots of people come to be outside, yeah. and it's a great place to ride bikes. So. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of group rides and different things meet up here throughout the week. People can jump in and it's, is it 10 miles, kilometers? It's 10 kilometers. Okay. There's no stop signs, there's no lights. So it's a 10K loop. There's a nice little climb. There's a sweeping descent. You have gorgeous views. It's all around the water. So, I mean, obviously it's gonna top Central Park. We're riding around the ocean. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't, I, I, I'm not even gonna try on this one. It's cool. Um, Central Park's also cool for a whole Absolutely. other different reasons. I'm excited to check this out and yeah, and get a coffee. Gosh, so that was Stanley Park. And then if you want to loop up and just keep going, you just take a left there Absolutely. and go right back in. But now you're in uh, downtown. Where are we? We're downtown Vancouver on Pacific Avenue. And Gosh. loops of the park never get old. No, you I can see that. Keep looping. This is sweet. It looks like there's going to be some type of festival or something going on in here tonight. There's probably always something going always. on in here. Always. There's always something. Yeah. If there is sunshine, there is action on the beach. <laughs> this is so great. It looks like people are swimming, taking it all in. And uh, in theory, if you were in here in a hot summer day, you could probably just roll right up and jump in. Heck yeah. And very Canadian of you guys to just put old tree limbs out there for people to rest themselves on. Yes, they're beach logs. Beach logs, I love it. They've washed up and they've been repurposed. <laughs> so we're en route to grab a coffee downtown Vancouver. 
After a long day of shooting and exploring, we had to get a coffee to re-energize our souls and get the blood flowing to our brains again. I also really wanted to check out and explore everything that downtown had to offer, but we could only cram so much into one day. So we decided that we would grab a quick coffee and then right afterwards, an early lunch to finish off our day. And somehow I convinced Steph that it's super pro to wear your helmet in the coffee shop. I can't say I, I wasn't expecting it, but I was delightfully surprised Surprise. that there were so many things that were uh, made riding here like pretty easy. Cool. So yeah, it was great. And I definitely, I think the route is a nice route. It's not like a drop dead, like you won't, you won't, you don't have to crawl home. You can just enjoy yourself. A couple yeah. hours from the city, boom, do some climbing, come back down, shoot in, grab a coffee, and grab some food after this. It's like, yeah, it's a nice day on the bike. I would, I would, yeah. If I was in town, this is a ride that I would do. It's a good day that can be done very early in the morning, midday, yeah. and if you want to explore and see Vancouver, you really have seen the best of Vancouver and some of the best coffee. Yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's great. And we're gonna dig into this pastry right now and then we're gonna fill up our bellies after that. All right, Steph, where are we headed? Kitsilano, baby. Over the Broad Street Bridge, leaving downtown. Okay. Heading to the OV, as we call it, Olympic Village. Okay. Because that's where you go for a beer. All right. Bike parking. All right. We're here at the, uh, the red truck. This looks great. There are a lot of red trucks. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here because this place is really, apparently like a big uh, supporter of the local cycling community. They do, they're part of the uh, RBC Grand Fondo, which we're also here for. They're part of, they sponsor a lot of like local youth development cycling programs. They've got a huge team in the area. Yeah. And just a ton of super passionate, enthusiast, enthusiastic riders and people involved in the sport. And they make beer. And they make beer. And I've heard the food's pretty good. Beers and bikes. <laughs> well, I'm into that. If they're into supporting stuff, I'm into supporting them. Let's, let's hit, go. Let's hit this. Steph, cheers. Thank you so much for showing us around Vancouver. It was an absolutely perfect day for it. Mm. All of the um, amenities and cycling infrastructure and all the great people that we met, it was, yeah, truly changed my opinion of the area. Not that I had a bad one, just that is really, really conducive to cycling and a lot of great people here that also love riding. So really enjoyed being out and um, yeah, we got a nice meal. What, what's up? You got something coming up though. You got to get out of here because you've got a bunch of cookies to make for the Grand Fonda. Gosh, I am baking 5,000 cookies tonight and the kitchen opens at 5 p.m. and I don't know how long it's going to take. <laughs> we got to get her out of here. But I'm gone. Thank you so much for the great hospitality, for showing us around. Get out of here, go make your cookies. And if you liked this video and you wanna check out Vancouver, make sure you leave a comment, tell us your favorite spots. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna to subscribe to GCN, click right here. And if you wanna check out other cool videos like this one, check out right over here.